and it was a character in the movie Cars. I, it's like, oh, okay, Louis Leroux. Or Louis, yeah, uh, because it's France, since they had kings named Louis. Oh, right, now for the regularly scheduled jokes. Uh, yes, last week I spoke about uh, hang-ups that I had with Cooper's Grocery Store, uh, and I said I'm considering switching grocery stores, and I did. I, I ended up uh, going to Aldi because I didn't like the way they made my groceries at the uh, Cooper's uh, after uh, shopping at the one that I uh, closed in October, I found out the other one isn't as good. But Aldi, uh, I mean, I'm blown away by uh, how different they are, and cheaper too. It's like, really? Wow, I'm uh, kind of surprised about that. I remember uh, going to uh, Aldi grocery stores in Iowa when I was young, but I know that some people knock them as, that's just where poor people go. It's like. Well, I like saving money, so there's nothing wrong with that. I also do karaoke for the stage time. I, I know that I, I covered that before. And, I mean, I still meet some weird people there. I guess it's performing and it's bars, so that should be expected, but it, I'm still surprised nonetheless. I, I was doing karaoke on Friday, and I, Somebody wanted to talk to me after uh, the song was done, and usually it's a compliment. It's like, hey, love uh, hearing you do the song. He said, hey, uh, in this case, he said, hey, I was trying to get your attention. You were singing it wrong. It's like, hmm. Yeah, I just humored him saying, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, because I wanted to get rid of him and I didn't want to get into a fight. Uh, the song was Mandolin Rain by Bruce Hornsby in The Range. Uh, I've heard that song a hundred times. I was singing it right. The song, is, uh, the line in the song that he had a problem with was, listen to the banjo wind, and he said I should be singing it wind. It's like, mm, no, you don't know the song well enough to advise me on that. Go away. There's a reason why somebody like me has lasted this long in life. Uh, I'm mild-mannered and I avoid confrontations, especially in bars with people that are bigger than me. Uh, well, I, I like doing uh, certain events for the experience of it because I know that uh, there are, uh, sometimes it's uh, once in a great while that you get to do certain things. And I was reminded of that, yes, I might as well do a shout out to Connor because I, I, I don't know if this is the first time I noticed, but we have a Hans beer bear on the wall over there. And that reminds me of uh, what I did uh, on Thursday uh, at, uh, uh, St. Paul Bar uh, had an event where you could meet the Hams Beer Beer, uh, of course, in costume, of course. And I first uh, uh, heard about it because of city pages. And it's like, well, how often do you get to do this? Not very often. Maybe I should go. And I know when I first moved here, I was bummed that I couldn't get Hams Beer. And uh, at uh, one place I was going at, Joe Sensors in Roseville, and I thought I was no longer made in St. Paul. It's like, oh, okay. But that's still often what I thought of when I thought of Minnesota growing up in Iowa. And it, it was a crowded bar, duh, because of the event. Yeah. But I just had to wait uh, it out. And then I finally got a picture with the Hams Bear. I uh, had to have somebody uh, request that they take the picture for me because I'm not good at selfies. And I also got a baseball card at the Hams Bear. So I, when I was leaving the bar, I said, worth it. Uh, and then the Friday event, uh, it was another uh, picture with somebody famous. It was the lead actress from Annie, which is going on nearby. She was making an, appear an appearance at a uh, credit union where I got my car loan. And I thought it was kind of funny to hear her talk about all the famous people that she had met uh, because of uh, being an actress. And one of them was Stevie Nicks, and I said, yes, the musician. And she spoke of some of the others as well. It's like. Uh, and then I ended up saying to her, uh, try to keep it, this enthusiasm throughout life, that's hard to do. Adults understand what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if she uh, does just yet. Uh, and then uh, day after that, I went to uh, see the Charlie Brown Christmas play in Hudson, Wisconsin, because I'm a big Charlie Brown fan. And I left out finding out about that one because I just uh, saw it in the cavalcade of public events on Facebook. So it's like, yay, it's not all negative energy on Facebook. And I made the most of my time in Hudson uh, because I liked walking across what once was their toll bridge because they had a nice view of I-94. 
And I also liked how, uh, even though it was Charlie Brown Christmas, that was just the second part of it. Uh, it was more than just a live version of the TV special. The first part served to be a lot, uh, basically, in many ways, a, a bio about Charles Schultz, the creator. And it's like, yeah, I, I mean, I really loved being there. I mean, even before the play started, I liked seeing a Snoopy Dog house and Lucy's psychiatric help uh, stand uh, on display there. I mean, and then after the play, I ended up finding the actor who played Linus, and, he's, and I said, you played my favorite character because I know that I'm just like Linus, being the intelligent one and the loyal friend. All right, uh, that uh, was the uh, weekend, and I know during the week I got fingerprinted through a temp agency. Uh, I'd like to think that means I'll have a job offer soon, but like the uh, Richard Marx said, it don't mean nothing until you sign on the dotted line. Nobody's asked me to sign on the dotted line yet, so who knows what's happening right now. But I'd really like to be back at work because I got bored and antsy really quick after watching a lot of DVD movies on loan from the library after one week. I call it being on vacation, but I, yeah, this type of vacation is much fun because I will have a severance pay soon. Uh. And the next one, there was another one I want to do. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you again, Connor, because I was watching uh, uh, on the uh, TV monitors uh, before the show started, and the movie Elf was on. And it reminded me of a story of uh, as somebody I briefly knew when I was living in suburban Chicago when I saw that movie in theaters 14 years ago. Uh, it, I had to jog my memory about where I found this man, but uh, he uh, happened to show up at a New Year's Eve celebration in my hometown. I, not my hometown, the suburb I was living in, and he didn't live in that suburb, but he was there because he was proud of how my suburb elected an Italian mayor. And he even held up a sign that said, please play something Italian, and I said, how about Ave Maria? That's in Latin. Is that Italian enough for you? He didn't think that was funny. And uh, he was just a, a lonely old man, but he was still creeping people out on uh, trying to make friends by asking for their uh, addresses and emails and such. And he wanted me to do things for him, like pick up pasta for events at different places. And uh, at one of those events, uh, he said he was from the Italian Catholic Federation. It's like, that's really weird because I'm neither Italian nor Catholic. And, uh, there was uh, one woman there who was born in Romania and then immigrated to Italy, and uh, he asked her a question, and telling me she responds in English. It's like, well, I like the Romanian lady because how many people there knew how to speak Italian besides him? Probably not many. Uh, and then I and basically just pocket beat to him, where I, I. I got laid off and then found a job in St. Paul, and he said, well, uh, look me up when you get there. Uh, drop me a line. Send me a postcard. I've never been to Mall of America. And it's like, yeah, uh, I think it's just better off that uh, the friendship peters out because he, he was weirding me out too much. I mean, if somebody wants to be friends, fine, but understand that uh, it's not a nature thing, for lack of a better term for me. I mean, uh, I, I need to be able to trust somebody uh, because of all the things I've been through in life and I can't immediately trust somebody uh, that I just met at a New Year's Eve celebration. I mean, I'm that way with my comedy friends. I need time to warm up to them being around the clubs all the time. Either that or I just need time to remember their name because I, I meet so many people from the clubs and it's all about repetition. Uh, I probably riff some more about different things. Uh, Christmas cards? Well, yeah, I get them from my uh, family. Uh, hard to say what I'd have to say about them. Uh, I cover family history. Um, oh, Facebook and Twitter. Kind of weird, where somebody doesn't seem to get the message. Uh, I defriend them on Facebook, I block them on Facebook, and then they go find me on Twitter. Hmm. Yeah, when somebody doesn't want to talk to me, I know well enough to honor their request, so it makes no sense why somebody wants to find me on Twitter. Ooh, I get to do one posting a week there. Like, you're really in the know about me now, especially all you hear about is me going to baseball games and movies. 
Guess that'll do it for me.